this is Kim from Made by Mommy and today I'm going to show you Crazy Loom's Crazy Characters Figure Making Kit. This is the back of the box. It explains that this kit has the materials needed to make six colorful characters. The kit contains one Crazy Loom, it's 14 pegs long and three across, which makes it one longer than the Rainbow Loom. You've got one weaving hook, 904 assorted latex free rubber bands, three plastic hooks, 24 pony beads, eight buttons, 25 S clips, one sticker sheet, and it has multiple sets of instructions for different designs. I'm going to open up this bag so you can see exactly what came in it. These are the three hooks that they were talking about. We got blue bands, a peachy color, the buttons, gray, white, orange, red, brown and yellow, black, purple, green, pink, and the S clips and the pony beads. The instructions included have the step-by-step -step detail to make what they call their fashion friend, which is this girl character, and the bunny. So we saw that the instructions for this girl and the bunny are included. These other four characters you need to go online to get the detailed instructions for, but the box will tell you exactly how many bands and beads you need to make each of them. Having print instructions for those additional characters would have been a really valuable addition to this kit. Clear instructions that are written are harder to come by. The first step in the instructions is to make the ears. Arrange the loom so that the tab end is at the top and the notch end is at the bottom. All bands placed on the loom will be two bands at a time, except for the stopper bands and the connector bands, which we'll learn more about later. So first, you place two gray bands at the top. Those are going to be the locking bands to tie off the design. And then we're going to start placing the bands for the shape of the ear. The center row gets two gray bands followed by three pairs of pink bands. And then we bring gray from the outside to the center on both sides. Next, we place what they consider a stopper band. I usually call them a cap band. By taking a single rubber band and twisting it around this peg two to three times, depending on your preference. And then we place what they call connector bands, which are the ones that go in the shape of a triangle across three pegs. And then you're ready to pick the bands, starting from the stopper. The stopper band is pretty tricky to keep in place. Holding out the stopper band like this makes it much easier. Once all your rubber bands are hooked together like that, we're going to lock them in place using these two loose bands. You catch them and pull them through and create a slip knot, pulling this side through the center of that side. And then I like to keep my finger in here while I remove all these bands. And we repeat the whole process again for the second ear. And because the ear is going to connect using the original stopper band, we're going to make this band disappear. Stick your hook through the ear, catch those loose bands, and pull them through to hide them. So I'm now going to follow their very detailed instructions on how to make the face. Again, we place two rubber bands loose on top to hold them all together in the end, and then two gray to one side and two gray to the other. And next we're gonna place the ears, sliding two rubber bands through the stopper band on your ear, like that, and then attaching it to your loom. 
and repeating on the other side. Another two gray and then two white on both sides. And in the center, three gray pairs and then three white pairs. And bringing the bottom of the face together with two bands on each side. For the eyes, take two gray bands and push them through the center of a black pony bead. And repeat again, being careful not to let the other pony bead fall off the other side. So it's like that. And then you're going to stretch that across the pegs that are the third down on each side. And for the nose, you're going to do two white bands through a single bead. And that goes one peg down. And now we need to add connector bands. And I can't forget the one stopper band that goes at the bottom here. With your pink bead up above the peg until after you've hooked these bands to help it stick out more. I'm going to pull back this band and hold it with my finger and then get the ones underneath where they need to go. So now I'm going to bring this back up and over and then continue up the center and finish off both sides of the face. Doesn't matter which side you do first. I haven't broken any rubber bands yet, so that makes this a good day. And now we're up to just the two bands that hold them together, these loose ones underneath. Catch them, bring them to the top, and create a slip knot, pulling this side through this side, like that. And we're ready to take our bunny face off the loom. So here's my floppy eared bunny with the ears a little bit wider than they intended because I forgot to double over those connector bands. So this is a fun kit for somebody that doesn't have a loom already. Uh, the instructions that they provide for the bunny and for the girl figure are very clear. I wish it had more written instructions included in the box for the other animals. Now, if you already have a loom, I don't think I'd get this whole figure making kit. I think instead, instead I'd go looking for these little band buddies kits that have everything you need for a single project in them along with thorough instructions. But if you don't have a loom yet, you might want to get this whole kit. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll check some of the other reviews on my channel and I also have loom tutorials that can work on any loom or even using just a hook. I look forward to looming with you again. My loom videos go up every Friday and I post other videos in between just for fun. See you soon. Bye-bye.